Hi, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. It's super sunny outside. I am loving it. That being said, there's like 50 mile an hour winds. It sounds like there's a tornado coming. So uh, we'll take it though. I'm still, I'm, I'm bright and cheery. And I thought, you know what? Uh, with it being high vibrational, it'd be a really good day with it being clear as well to do a message from your past on loved one. Uh, I have not done one of these in a very long time. And I thought what a great way to kind of honor those that we love, see who wants to come through, give you a message. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning and for connecting us with you. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Let's go ahead and clear it. Spirit, I ask that you use me for the clearest, truest, and highest messages for the viewer on the other side of this video. Come through me. Use me, Spirit. Any messages from you that you would like me to relay to the viewer? Channelings, please. <laughs> I'm seeing a Kit Kat. Uh, the candy Kit Kat. Someone may have really liked Kit Kats or chocolate or someone's name, short name, uh, nickname was Cat or Kit. I just saw the year 1969. A blue El Dorado. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, spirit. Use me, spirit. Oh, I meant to light a candle. Hold on. We're going to light a candle real quick for your past on loved one in their memory. There we go. That's for you. Okay. What are the messages? <laughs> I just heard, tell her she owes me a set of tires. <laughs> I don't know. Do you owe someone a set of tires? It's no longer here, y'all. <laughs> That's funny. I'm seeing a really big garden. Someone, really, someone had a really big, beautiful garden. And they want me to express to you they miss their garden or, or they miss working in their garden. Or they want you to get a garden or make your own garden if you don't have one. There's something there with that. Woo, I'm getting all sorts of messages. Come on, y'all. I'm seeing a, 50, a 50s diner that maybe you and this person used to go to a lot. Or it felt like the 50s or like that era. I'm seeing a rocking chair on a front porch. Maybe you used to have conversations with somebody in a rocking chair on a front porch. I'm hearing the name Marie, Maria. Cantania. Heard the name Michael. Justin. Kim. Oh, okay. Okay. Patrice or Patricia, Patricia. Jamarcus. Anything else, spirit? You want me to throw cards or what are we doing here? Someone said, throw the damn cards. All right. Then shut up. <laughs> Let's go. What's coming in? What do you want me to share? What's the message from my viewer? Dear pastor on loved ones, sassafras you, king of wands. That's what's up. 
They love what they're seeing and they want me to really point out, like if you have not been feeling this way, they see you this way. They see you as a confident leader, uh, someone who takes action, who really loves themselves. He likes to take care of others. Um, this person's very protective. This person is also a go-getter. They're an entrepreneur, a business owner. They see you this way. They've always seen you this way. They've seen you as fearless. If you have not felt this way, Ashe, they're coming through me and they want me to say, you need to get back in this energy right now. Okay, you also might be a fire sign. Whew. Message for, what do you want me, what else? Queen of Cups coming through. This person who I'm connecting with may have been a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also may have that in your chart. I'm, I'm reading for a lot of different signs here. I would not really let the signs get to us right now. This is more about the energy. Uh, this person wants me to relay that you are a very kind-hearted, nurturing family person. They love that energy about you. They, they, uh, that was one of their favorite things about you. They love how you cared for them, how you took care of them, how you nurtured them. Uh, that you are so loving. There's something about the way you love people, uh, and they want to remind you of that, that you need to really remember your roots on how you love people because it's easy to get out of that, especially after you've, after you've lost a loved one. They they really want me to recognize that right now. Thank you. What else? Thank you. We got the three of cups here. They they want me to recognize all the celebrations and the good times that you had together. You may have had siblings. Um, you may have had. Uh, um, okay, you're coming too much. You're coming too much. Slow it down. I'm seeing a pool. I'm seeing a pool party. There's <laughs> there's a funny memory that happened at a pool party, y'all. I don't know. I'm being told to talk about that. I'm now seeing someone like run off a, a diving board and they like hit the end of the board with their butt and then dive in. Like maybe that was something they liked watching you do. I don't know. I'm seeing that. Um, so there's something I keep hearing three children. Okay. So this could go like three or four different ways. Maybe you have three siblings and they are recognizing their children, okay? If this is maybe one of your parents or whatnot. Uh, you may have three children. If you do not have kids, they are acknowledging you're going to have three kids or they want you to have three children. There's something about three children or um, they had two siblings and they're recognizing their brothers and sisters here. So if this may have been your sibling uh, coming. Oh, I just, oh, oh, that just gave me the chills. Okay. What else? Temperance. Earth angel. There's something about angelic presence around you. You're embodying that. I'm seeing so many people here. What What is this? So they really want to acknowledge how you're alchemizing and healing yourself here. They, they love what they're seeing and they're really proud of you for that. Also, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius and they're, they're pointing that out. There's something about that. Um, okay, tell me more. What else do you want me to relay? Thank you. The magician, your magic. Ooh, they're, ooh, I'm getting hot. They're acknowledging how magical you are. There's something about how much of a shaman or a priestess you are. They're really wanting me to acknowledge also how you manifest. They love how you are manifesting and they also want me to acknowledge I'm hearing the word growth. You're growing in this area. They're trying to bless you in this area and increase your abilities with your intuition, with the way that you create here in the 3D. I also just heard there's something about, I keep hearing Sagittarius again. There's something about the magician and Sagittarius or temperance because that's the Sagittarius card. So... I'm here. I'm seeing a magician and an angel here. I don't know. Take that as it resonates. My ear just rang. Oh, my ear just rang on that one. Okay. This person might have, the person that is a passed on loved one might have been a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. What else would you like me to relay? Angels. Thank you. King of Pentacles. I just heard the word marriage. Okay. They're acknowledging your marriage. What about it? Solid. Solidity. I just heard solidity. 
my eyes itching now. What is this? So a, a few things here. You're sh sh too much. They're acknowledging how stable and strong you are and mature you are. How strong your finances are, or if they're not, they're going to be. There's something about this energy being really prevalent. You may also have earth in your chart. But I'm hearing the word marriage. So if you are married, they like what they are seeing. If you are not married, there's something here about this. Again, take it as it resonates. Okay, what else? I just heard the word father. And now I'm hearing Faja. <laughs> What movie is that from? I don't know what movie that's from. Faja. Not my father, my Faja. I don't know. I just heard cockatoo. Cockatoo. Cockapoo. I'm hearing I'm hearing a cockatoo, bird, and then a dog. Uh, I heard the name Sammy. Geppetto. I'm now seeing a water bowl. Okay, so whoever's passed on is really concerned about a dog. Maybe about your dog or their dog. Maybe you have their dog. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. What else? What else would you like me to relay, please? Thank you. They're... Oh. I just got told shh. Okay, I'll set that over here. I'll set... Why are you telling me a shh? Oh. Oh. oh, okay. I can't shush on this, y'all. Come on. Somebody's getting married or engaged, okay? I'm All I am seeing here is the actual ring and then what looks like the star diamond up top. And this is the opportunity. This is a, an offer coming in or something. Also, the King of Cups came right in behind that. So there's something here about... Um, a very sweet person extending an offer. Again, you may have one of these in your chart. They're acknowledging that. Uh, if you have just recently gotten engaged, they're very happy for you. Uh, they approve of that. Or if that's coming in, they, they are wanting me to acknowledge that. My nose is, my nose is itching again on that. Um, what? I just heard the, the word switch. Switch what? <laughs> uh, so this person is like wanting me to get on you switch okay so I just had the knight of pentacles fall and then we had the ace of pentacles they are wanting me to acknowledge that you took too long to ask this person to marry you so like again if you just got engaged they're wanting me to tell you like you need to switch that behavior like from taking too long to going after it and creating a like the, creating the opportunity so there's something here that they're acknowledging me that acknowledging with that uh also i just heard switching your mind there's something about you may have switched your mind on who you wanted to ask to marry you take that as it resonates i don't know okay again they're approving of whatever your decision is tell me more thank you Woo, Nine of Pentacles. They're so proud of what you're doing in your career. Um, they really like how you handle yourself professionally. I'm hearing like an office phone ring. I just heard proud of, and then I heard I heard the words customer service. They like the way you, you have customer service. And um, like if this, if this is, if this was not a coworker of yours, maybe it was like a parent or someone who taught you customer service or like they're watching you at businesses, like at whoever I'm connecting with, okay, they follow you kind of like as a protector and an angel, but like as you're going from place to place, like let's say you're running errands, they're watching you and they're acknowledging your customer service and they love what they see. Take it as it resonates, but also they really like your job or how you're handling yourself at work right now. Okay, any other messages? What else would you like me to relay? I just heard, don't forget the dirt bike. Don't forget the dirt bike. Okay. Thank you, Ace of Swords.
okay how do you want me to say that i'm seeing a Okay, I saw like a few different channelings right there and I, I'm not quite sure what that meant. So hopefully you can give me more clarity there. I saw a gun case, like a case, is at a, a case at a store filled with guns. Then I heard something about clarity on this. Oh, that's going to make me tear up, y'all. This may not resonate for everyone. If you have contemplated contemplated suicide trigger warning if you have contemplated suicide via using a gun but you didn't go through with it they are acknowledging right now they don't ever do that again and they're so glad you got clarity on not taking your own life and that it will get better okay so that was a very specific message take it as it resonates however also separate message if that's not for you There's something about a decision you're, you've just made or you're about to make that's going to change your entire um, luck, fortune. What else do you want me to say on that? What else do you want me to say on that? 16, 16 on the clock right when I, when I looked up. What, what else do you want me to say on that? That was like a fuzzy message. Thank you. Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Uh, so you're about to stop feeling lonely and like looking in the past. And they want me to acknowledge that. I just, I got tingly all the way down my arms right when I said that. I felt like someone just gave me an energetic hug. Whoo, that felt weird. Um, they're acknowledging that like that decision you've made or you're about to make is going to completely take you out of this Five of Cups. Okay. So they like what they see and they, they're proud of you. Um, do you want me to switch decks? Yes, spirits in the house. They're acknowledging they're here. They acknowledge that they're always here. This whoever I'm uh, connecting with, these people that are coming down and giving me these messages, they stalk you. Like they they want me to let you know, like they don't ever leave. Um, okay, which deck? Okay, thank you. What other messages? This is a fun reading. I should do these more often. I just feel like someone went boom. I'm seeing bicycles. This person used to really enjoyed riding a bicycle with you or watching you ride a bicycle, or maybe you they taught you how to ride a bicycle or vice versa. Or something about a bicycle. Bicycles. I'm now seeing an ice cream stand. They really enjoyed getting ice cream with you. Mm. What else? What else do you want me to relay? I just heard the word loud and clear. Get a lawyer. Okay. Woo. Then I heard get a goddamn lawyer. Oh my God. Who is that? <laughs> Get a lawyer. I don't know. Whoever that is is like telling me to tell you you need to get a lawyer. I don't know. Okay. Whew. Let me take a breather here. I'm going to clear the energy one more time. Any other spirits want to come through that may not have come through? Let's clear it. I'm going to oil up again. Right, my wind chime is banging. See what else comes through, y'all. I'm seeing a really pretty necklace uh, that has like a heart with sapphires on one side and diamonds on the other. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Maybe they're acknowledging they got that for you. Maybe that's something that you got them. They really enjoyed it. Vice versa. Um, I'm hearing Barbara Streisand's The Way We Were song. Oh, God. Okay, The Way We Were. You might want to look up the lyrics to that, y'all. I don't know. I'm getting a channeling on that one. What other channeling spirit 
pass on loved ones. Anything else before I start throwing cards? I just heard take your blood pressure medicine. <laughs> Telling you to take your blood pressure medicine. I don't know. I just got chill. Oh. I felt like someone grabbed my ear and then ran a chill all the way down my neck through my arm. But then I heard the word stroke. Okay, there's something here with this. This is something big. Take it as it resonates. 2020 on the clock. Okay. There, there's something about, they're worried about you having a stroke or, or someone may have just had a stroke. If that's you, this person's connecting with you on that. They're telling me that you're going to be okay. I'm feeling like a heavy, like, please be okay. You're going to be okay. Like I'm watching over you. This person that's passed on is telling me that they're watching over you or they're, they're making sure that that doesn't happen. I don't know. I just heard the word, oh, I'm getting so many channelings. I just heard the words motorcycle accident. Maybe someone passed away in a motorcycle accident. I feel like someone's trying to control my jaw right now. That's weird. I have never had that feeling before. Someone's like wanting me to talk more. You need to get your hands off me right now. Whoever that was. Um, Someone's wanting me to acknowledge sobriety. Someone's wanting me to acknowledge some type of sobriety. You maybe have just gotten sober or you have been sober. Congratulations. Or this person was sober and you're not. I'm hearing the word sobriety over and over again. Sobriety. Sobriety. Okay. Anything else before I throw cards, spirit? Woo. I heard the words Mustang, baby. There's someone who's looking for a new car. They want me to tell you to get the Mustang, baby. I don't know. What else? I just heard it happened on a Wednesday. It happened on a Wednesday. Okay, let's go. Any other messages? <coughs> I just got the distinct feeling like someone was having a really hard time catching their breath. If that was not your past on loved one in some capacity, it's you. There's something about you not being able to catch your breath. <laughs> this person's making fun of you. Okay, that's funny. This was a direct message. Whoever I'm connecting with, that message just came down. There's something about you not being able to catch your breath because you're in love and they're making fun of you for it. <laughs> they got jokes. This person's funny. This person's really funny. Okay, tell me more. I just heard Happy Fed the Horses Sun card. Three of Cups, but I love the artwork. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Wow. I'm seeing waves crashing, and I feel like that was really something that was important between you and them. Like songs about wave, cra uh, crashing waves. Maybe you used to surf. Maybe you used to go to the beach all the time together. Take that as it resonates. Or one of their favorite memories is of you and them in the water with waves crashing. I don't know. Tell me more. I just smelled popcorn. <laughs> movies. They enjoyed watching movies with you. I just heard murder mystery, murder mysteries. Okay. They're acknowledging like, um, if you have had any moments of despair lately, that is completely shifting. 
all right? Go, you're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Sun and the Three of Cups, which is like the celebration and the happiest cards, okay? Um, yeah, that's a heavy message. They want me to acknowledge, once again, there's something about really reassuring you with whoever's coming down today. Um, and they really want you to know, like, they are so here with you and you are not alone. If you are feeling, like, down and out lately or, like, Dis disparage I keep hearing disparaging um and and uh now I'm hearing the word determined uh there's something about you being determined to get out of that energy uh and if anyone can do it it's you okay thank you um that was also a direct message from my mom as well but that was that was from the collective whoever's watching this too um stop it okay thank you Woo that's why you got this headed straight for you ten of pentacles Okay, there is something that's coming in for you that is such a heavy, heavy blessing. If you have not been in that energy yet, or if you used to be and you're, you need to get back to that, this is happy home, happy family, happy finances, happy love, the perfect, like, look how beautiful that tree is. Like, it's colorful, it's growing, it's um, maturing, there's community around it, togetherness, love, uh, celebration. That is why it's so important for you to shift out of this energy. That's why they're coming down and wanting me to tell you that. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of passion. They love your passion and your, um, they're really acknowledging that how much of an inspiration you were to them. Yeah. Yeah. They want me to tell you you were an inspiration to them and that you were very inspiring. And if they never told you that, they wanted me to tell you that. I just heard a knock. Did you hear that? I hope that got caught on camera. Thank you. Um, There also might be someone in your life that you view as a muse of inspiration and they're acknowledging that person as well that's in your life. And that there's, see how it's like a mirroring effect? They want me to acknowledge like this person's in your life for a reason, okay? So there's that. Anything else? My ear is ringing bad on that. So there's something here about um, a lot of really, yeah, like getting out of your head and getting a weight lifted off of your shoulders. And it's like, what a, whatever's about to come in for you, you have so many opportunities and look how high concentration this girl is looking at these goldfish, right? These are blessings and miracles that are about to come into your life. They're acknowledging that these are on their way. They're already yours and they're already claimed for you. Nothing can take them from you. But what it's going to bring in is a new passion of heart for yourself, for your own self-love, self-worth. And it's like these are coinciding. Also, this may be helping you bring a love offer to someone or vice versa. Okay? They're really wanting me to acknowledge that. Anything else? And then I'm going to wrap it up. Final message from your past on loved one. I hope this resonated. If it did, please leave me comments, y'all. If you like these readings, I'll keep doing them. Yeah, your intuition is spot on. My intuition is spot on with these messages. They're very proud of how spiritually heightened you are. They really, really are proud of your spiritual health. They want me to acknowledge that. My nose is itching heavily on that. Um, there's something here they're really they're really wanting me to tell you that your intuition is like really, really good right now. And that because of it, you're about to get a major wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. They're really excited for you. Like this is, um, <laughs> I'm seeing people like jump up and down. Like they're really giddy. Um, like they are so excited for you. Whatever you're about to receive, they are so excited for you and they're proud of you because I feel like you had to pass spiritual tests to get this. They're acknowledging, yes, you did it successfully. Yes, they are so proud of you. There's the message. It's, it's coming in. Um, yeah. Clarity. Uh, final message or anything you want me to pull to read? An Egyptian card. Okay. They want me to do an Egyptian. This is like your ancestors coming through right now. So this is more of like your passed on ancestors versus a passed on loved one that you had a relationship with. Okay. 
but the ancestors want to talk too <laughs> while they got while I'm tapped in. So let's go ahead. This is going to be a message from your bloodline. Current message from the ancestors, the person watching this video. How can I be a resource? Thank you. Wow, that was quick. Alchemical force. Heka number 29. They are acknowledging that you are an alchemical force and they are so proud of you. Damn. This is a great reading. Let's read it. Now we're going to wrap it up there. All right, here we go. Heka is the god of magic and also of healing medicine. The universe was created thanks to magic and life also depends on it. He is a god who has no origins. His name means the first work. Heka reveals himself in the feelings of human beings and expresses himself in their language. He offers determination in order to dominate and, com com and the capacity to create. The alchemist purifies base and raw materials to turn them into gold, giving you vitality, energy, magnetism, and strength at all levels. He allows you to successfully develop your accomplishments. He has appeared to you to give you the ability to control in any direction or to dominate all of the elements. You are a true alchemical force to your past on loved ones and your ancestors. Okay, so take that as it resonates. Whoo! Wow. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper on a private one-on-one -on -one reading, all the information will be below. If this is where we part ways, my darling dears, I love this reading. Get hype. Like, I was so tapped in. And thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.